what's up you guys um it's your girl in asia and i literally just woke up so don't judge me <laughs> but um i just wanted to talk a little bit about um the properties of something i discovered called mugwort um mugwort is an herb um and it's an herb that um i'll kind of show you what it looks like Sorry, it's kind of dark, but as you can see, I've made what's called a dream pillow, and a dream pillow is this, um, you've probably seen them before with like lavender in them, and they have calming effects, but it's basically a porous bag. When I say porous, like it has holes in it, almost like a really small screen, and that way you're able to smell the herbs, um, and so I actually, um, and I'll kind of take a little bit out if you can see here um, the herb itself is kind of um, it's almost like cotton balls it's really it sticks together and it's really fluffy um, okay so what I did was there's a couple different ways that you can use mugwort um, some people just put it in a dream pillow and they'll put it under their pillow or next to their pillow um, so I did do that. I actually wore a head scarf at night because my hair is straight today. And as most of you guys know, I have curly hair. So it's hard to keep it flat when it's straight. Anyway, <laughs> so utilizing my scarf, um, I just tuck the mud wart up here. So that when I'm sleeping, it's like right there going directly into my nose. So that was helping to trigger throughout the night. But... Prior to that, um, I actually broke mud wart down um, and I smoked it. Um, so to kind of let you see how it how that looks, um, I just rolled it in a regular cigar, a Swisher Sweet, um, and you know the cigar comes like this size, and so I just split it down the middle. And I filled it with mugwort and I smoked probably half, yeah, I smoked about half of the cigar worth of mugwort. Um, it does have a pretty strong smell. Um, to me, it doesn't smell like cannabis. I mean, I'm from Washington State, so we're connoisseurs, but some people associate the smell with cannabis. It is strong. I don't think it smells like marijuana at all. And... Um, the sensations are not at all like marijuana. It is very relaxing. Um, now, I'm going to try some other um, ways to utilize it just because I don't, rec I don't recommend the cigarillos for everybody. I mean, I've been smoking these for a long time, but it can be kind of harsh on the throat sometimes. So if you need to try like rolling papers or um, I'm pretty sure you can vaporize it as well. Um, so you, it is safe to smoke, but, um, tonight I'm going to experiment and I'm going to, um, create a tea with the mugwort. So I'm going to like strain it down and I'm going to really filter it. So that is very strong. Um, so I'll let you know the, the effects of that, but, um, my experiences last night, and this was my first night trying mugwort with the half of a, the half of a cigar full of half a blunt. Um, and what I found was that I had some very, very, very vivid dreams. Um, the first, well, first of all, I used some different essential oils to help me. Like I used some rosemary essential oil and rosemary is really good at memory. So what that does in combination with the mugwort is it helps you to, um, recollect your dreams upon waking so I did some rosemary I also did um, a little bit of lavender to help me get to sleep because after I smoked the mugwort like I was so excited I was just ready to go to sleep and um, that that excitement kind of um, kept me up so I actually did not fall asleep until the sun came up in the morning I know but that's not uncommon for me because I am very nocturnal and I do like most of my reading and researching at night. So that's not uncommon. Um, but anyway, when I did fall asleep, my first dream um, 
there was a bunch of people and we were walking around a lake and um I was extremely dressed up like I was bedazzled in this gown and I had these shoes on like heels and I was kind of like I'm not going to walk around this entire lake it was a really big lake and so I don't know where it came from but I pulled a motorboat <laughs> out of somewhere like literally and I was thinking oh my god like it's going to be fine but when I get to the other side of the bank like I don't want to get muddy and so I can remember s gently slipping the boat into the water and um, just like sh gliding across this lake and it's funny because I had my heels like up on the boat and they were kind of crossed so <laughs> so I like, got my sh my heels crossed and they're at the top of the boat and I'm just gliding across this lake and I can see the other people like slowly making it around so I get to the end of the bank and I'm approaching it and it's like a concrete barrier around the lake but there's this little space that's open and it's kind of grassy so I aim the boat I'm like okay I can get up on the bank there and I get right up on the bank and the boat literally goes all the way up to like where the sidewalk is so I get out of my boat and my shoes are fine and I'm like really clean and everything's fine then this limo appears and it's all these people it's almost like a party bus limo like it's all these people and I and they seem to know me um and, um, th I, for some reason, oh, I remember, okay, so I don't smoke marijuana anymore, but in my dream, I had some marijuana in my car, in the ashtray, and so I did not want to, I didn't want to ride with them, because I wanted to go to my car, <laughs> get my marijuana, but, um, so they said, okay, fine. And it seemed like Morgan Freeman was driving. So Morgan Freeman says, okay, fine. And they go out, they take off really fast. And I realized how far my, my car away was, or how far away my car was. And I thought, no, you know, I'm going to have to ride with them. I don't want to get left. And so I said, no, no, no. And I was like running and waving really fast in my heels, mind you. And Morgan Freeman stops really fast. And he puts the limo in reverse. And it has no doors on the side. Like, so people are, like, hanging out. Somebody, like, falls out when it stops. And uh, they weren't hurt, but they kind of laugh it off and get back in. And then they're like, okay, get in. So I get in and go. And we're driving really fast. And then we go to this gym, this big gym. Now, um, those of you that know me know that I do something called tre that I call treadmill dancing. And so... I saw all these treadmill dancers that I have seen on YouTube. <laughs> so there's like this black guy with a blue shirt and he spins really fast. That's like his trend. And so he was there. Um, there's this lady, I think her name's uh, Bernadette. Um, she was there and she like steps on the treadmill. So she was like stepping on the treadmill. And um, I just saw all these treadmill dancer people. So it was amazing. <laughs> but then... um. All these people were sitting around the gym, the basketball court, almost like they were getting going over basketball plays or something. Um, and I saw my friend Daniel there, and I hit him in the head with an empty water bottle as I was walking by. And the, whoever was talking was kind of like, um, they're not going to be able to do, you know, if you keep talking to them. And so I was like, my bad. And I walked around them to get out of the door. And my little brother, little Larry, was there. And he um, kind of, we did some sibling rivalry type stuff. He kind of yelled at me. And then, um, in a good way, though, he, like, yelled a joke out to me. And I cracked up. And then I opened the door. And when I opened the door, I woke up. It's like the light that was outside became, you know, the light here. The sun was too intense for me to continue sleeping. Plus, I never sleep past like 8 o'clock, and I woke up at 11, 11 this morning. So, um, so that was my first experience with mugwort. Um, I definitely would recommend it to anybody who's interested in um, doing kind of like some dream study and dream interpretation. Um, I will be using it um, probably for the next couple days. Um, a couple things to note, though, is that you don't want to use mugwort over a continual period of time um, because it can contribute to liver damage. 
and it can also induce seizures. Um, so it's something that you don't want to um, use for a lot of, for a long period of time. Like I'm gonna probably use it for three or four days and then give it like a week or two week break um, and then utilize it again. So um, I will be talking more about different herbs that can help you um, with dreaming, lucid dreaming, um, astral projection, that kind of stuff. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. Um, just because these are some things that I do and I want you guys to um, just be more proactive in um, knowing that it's it's a lot there's a lot more to life than we think um, especially when it comes to dreaming we sleep one third of our lives and I don't think it's you know it, it, with people say it's to calm down the physical processes of the body and let them rest but besides our consciousness you know the heart rate slows down a little bit but everything is still regulating so it's like your body isn't really getting a break. The only thing that's breaking is our consciousness. So um, I'm just all about, I'm a psychology girl. So I just, I, I like to, um, I like to do my own research and create my own perspective on that. So um, I will be talking to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. And um, I also have some new music up soon. So look out for that. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. It's your girl in Asia signing out. Love and light. Mwah.